Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working guys on a BMW, but what we'll do, we'll actually apply to almost any car guys. We'll explain what radio suppression filter is, what it does and where you can expect to locate one. Now, when you guys uh, drive down the road or you rev your car, if you start hearing static in your radio, okay, your speakers, they're static, you hear static or uh, you hear that some kind of like engine whine through the speakers guys when you uh, rev your car up let's say you uh, press the gas pedal down and you hear a little bit of a whine or static or noise in your speakers guys it could be <coughs> because of a bad static suppression radio filter guys and we'll explain what it does and how it prevents that so stay with us and we'll, we'll start on that quick introduction guys where we have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop why because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel guys and like the video hopefully you will find the information helpful if you guys need to save even more more money on car parts and tools check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get everything from for a really good price so we're doing window replacement here on that bmw and i decided to see okay what are different modules are and all that stuff and i came to that module okay right here that it says it's radio guys radio suppression module okay this device right here and uh, what this device guys okay this is the one that controls the static and that fuzzy sound in your radio system you have a device somewhere or a capacitor in your car somewhere guys that is going to actually cancel that noise that static that filtration guys why because otherwise if you don't okay every time the spark plugs ignite guys okay they create kind of like a magnetic field spark plugs fuel injectors all that guys when it's activated and as a result guys you will hear that in your uh, in your uh, door speakers okay you will hear it as a whine you will hear it guys as a static it really depends but uh, i've we used to have a mercedes that when you rev the engine up okay and you hear like uh, you hear a little bit of a whine through the speakers guys and it was changing the volume of the radio as well and this was due because of a bad okay sup uh, suppression module like this one guys so that's what it's for now location guys it really depends every car is different i've noticed on many of them on the bmws they tend to be around the rear window sometimes why because when you turn your heater okay defroster for the window also known as defogger guys you can get static as well so that's why guys okay that thing is there and it's very close to the window so it can i believe uh, take that thing too but uh, that's where it's located hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any any of you trying to figure it out if you guys need any questions or anything uh, like that answer let us know leave the uh, leave uh, your questions under the comment section below and we'll try to make a video guys for your problem thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time